Dolphins, probably the most loved creature in the sea. They're mammals, like us. Warm-blooded, breathe air, the mothers take care of their young. You go to any park that has ocean creatures and the dolphin's probably the star. You can swim with the dolphins. Every surfer is hoping at some point when they paddle out in the lineup that a pot of dolphins will be going by. Dolphins like to ride waves too. They also like to eat fish. And we like to draw and paint them. And that's what I'm going to be doing today. Showing you a process where we're going to be drawing it using paper, pencil. Then we're going to be cutting it out. You have some scissors, placing it on another sheet of paper, and then doing an underwater dolphin painting. It's easy. I'm going to take you through it step by step. We're going to have a lot of fun. Get your supplies and let's get started. Okay, so in order to get started, we're going to make our geometric shapes. I'm going to make two ovals. One right like this and another one on the other angle. Notice it's almost like an upside down V. And then down here, I'm going to make a nice triangle. And up here, I'm going to make another loop and another loop under that. Right there in the center, let's put a triangle. This is the basic shape for the dolphin. Now we're going to start under here. We're going to follow this line, come up to here, curve it around down to there. Now for here, we're going to bring this line. I'm going to come down a little more and it's going to come up like that. That's that smile that the dolphins have that's so nice. And underneath. Then we're going to follow the oval, turn it, come down right over to here. Now for the dorsal fin, it's not triangular like a shark, it's more angular. So we're going to use that as our basic, but we're going to go back just a little bit like that, curve it in and come down. Now if you take this line and you kind of follow it here, this is where his pectoral fin is going to start. We curve it and we come in a little bit like that. Now for the back tail, what I want you to do is take this line, see this, we're going to bring it just about over to there, then coming on this, come in and out, find a center, and the dolphin tail has a very unique shape to it, just like with the rest of the whales, and this is going to come over to here, this comes down to there. Okay, so we have our tail, we have our front flipper, if you will, and our dorsal fin. Now, for the face of the dolphin, we have our beak. You know the difference between the dolphins and the porpoises is the shape of the teeth and the beak. And the eye goes right behind here, right about there. And we can bring this up just a little bit. So that's it. We have our shape of our dolphin. We don't even need to erase anything. Now we're ready to do some cutting out. Using our scissors, I'm just going to go ahead and start cutting my dolphin out. And you can just follow along those lines and get it all cut out. I have my cutout dolphin. This one has the shapes clearly drawn, drawn in green. Turn it over, you see it's a pretty clean picture of the dolphin. I'm going to place this on my paper. You can decide how you want it, wherever you want to put it. Then you go ahead and trace it. Just hold it on there. Use your pencil. Trace it on your paper. Make sure you get every line. Let's see. Okay, looks pretty good. Now I'm going to put another dolphin in there. This one, I think maybe I'll make him look a little bit like that. Okay, however you want to do it. You can have them overlapping. And you can do, you know, as many dolphins as you want. You can do this with fish as well. It works great when you're doing a large painting and you're having a lot of the same animal and you're not really sure of how to draw it in each way. You draw it and then you cut it out and trace it. Okay, so now I have my two dolphin and this is overlapping here, so I'm going to erase that. Okay, so I've got my two dolphin. I can set this aside. Now I'm going to start with my painting. I have my watercolors. I'm going to use a large three-quarter inch brush and I'm going to put a background in. I'm going to mix some blue 
Get some blue on here, get some green. I want a nice turquoise. So I have my green, my blue, and I'm going to put in some of my background color. You don't have to be real exact over where your color is in regard to the dolphin, but as long as you have the background painted up. And I'm just mixing some of my blue and some of my green. And this, of course, is the water. Dolphins can be found inshore or they can be pelagic out at sea. They like to be around coral reefs. They like to go where there's fish because that's their favorite food. And they're able to find their fish by a process called echolocation. It's a sonar. They put out these clicks and whistles and then the sound bounces back. They can even identify fish that are hiding under the sand. And then they're able to um, kind of blow out the sand and get their fish. It's pretty neat. Very intelligent animals. All right, after we've got some blue and green on there, now we can go ahead and put our color in on our dolphins. Now the dolphins have the counter shading. They're darker at the top, lighter at the bottom. But before I do that, let me put a little detail in. I want to bring this line down. That's the top of it, and I want to make sure I have the eye in the right place. And the same way on this one. I'm going to bring that line down and put his eye in. Okay, and over on here, we got to put this line right there because that shows the body coming in and a little bit up there. All right, now the dolphins are a gray color with a little bit of blue. So I'm going to use a little bit of black and add some blue to it. Check out my color and using my big brush, I'm going over the top of the dolphin there. We're going to be adding some white on here later that's going to be a real uh, beautiful color of the, um, the reflection that we'll be seeing. So we're just kind of putting in the top coat, the top color there, a little bit here on the... You don't have to be real exact on your color. Again, it's counter shading. So he's darker on top than he is underneath. Putting in that color on his dorsal fin. And also the color comes and is on his pectoral fin right there. So we have our first layer of color. Now I'm going to get a little more blue, make the value a little lighter and um, bring it down a little bit more so we have a few more tonalities there. And maybe make it a little bit darker up here on the top, a little more black and blue there on the top. You can always make it darker. You can't make it lighter, but you can make it darker. And I'm going to make it darker there underneath the dolphin that's underward. Okay? A little more black and blue here and his fin we're going to make his fin in front okay so we've got our basic colors down leaving that white on the underbelly now we might want to use our number four or our number six brush and again I'm going to get that um, blue black and I'm just going to make sure that my lines are even there, a little bit of just an inclination of the back of the fin, a little bit darker right through there and the nose and that smile. You're putting in your detail and the bottom of the dolphin right here. And we can darken it up Make sure that we have a nice clean line. This dolphin down here. And I'm putting in his nose. That smile. Dolphins always look like they're smiling. It's 
it's good if you have some photos that you can reference when you do this and you can get your colors really nice. I always try to have photographs, paintings whenever I do any of my artwork. A little more blue over here, a little more black. I'm just using that blue and black and that dolphin tail, boy they use that, it's called a fluke. And that's how they identify uh, whales, by their fluke tails. I'm going to just use some water here to clean up that little bit that was an extra over there. Now this has to dry a bit before I can come in with a mo little more detail. So if you've got a hair dryer, you can use it. If not, you can just sit back for a minute and um, let that part dry. Okay, so it's dry now. I'm going to go ahead and put in some detail. Make it a little more obvious here around the snout. And I'm going to put in my eye and that curved mouth. You can also put in the blowhole, an indication of it right there. And it's back. You're using some blue and some black to um, change some of the value that we did before, coming in with a little bit darker through here and a little bit here on the tail. So a combination of blue and black, I never like to use straight black, but the blue and black gives us a nice value and we can darken up some of the areas before we put on our highlights with that white that I was talking about. And I'm going to just go up here over the fan. I kind of have them intertwined. You can have one in front of the other or you can have them, you know, whatever you want. However you want to shape them. That's the beauty of when you do the cutout. Is you can place your dolphins in any kind of position. And even though the shape is the same, it will look um, like two different drawings that you've done. And there we go with that dorsal fin right here and the pectoral right through there. Now after I have this some of this uh, definition in, I'm going to be putting in highlights. Whenever we see paintings of dolphins, we always see the reflection of light on their very soft, shiny skin. So after you've done that, you can go back and, you know, you can do a little bit more, a little bit shadow right here. Okay, now what we're going to do, you can take either some white craft paint or you can use some white acrylic paint. Make sure your brush is nice and clean. Skinny brush. I'm going to take some of that white and now I'm going to add some of that reflection. And we're going to come over this and we're going to make some, just some white lines that are kind of, kind of irregular. And that's showing the reflection from the sun a little bit right here on the front of the dorsal fin. This is what really makes that dolphin appear that the light is shining on them and that smooth skin. If you've ever petted a dolphin, can do that at a lot of the water parks. They have such beautiful smooth skin and that light really reflects off of them. A little bit here on the head and you want to make sure that that white is opaque enough. That's why we don't use the white that is um, in the watercolor tray. That's not opaque enough. And then we're going to put a little bit here as well and some of the highlight on his back. And you can just play with this. We have these, these kind of squiggly lines that show how the sun coming through the water bounces off the back of the dolphin and gives it a reflection. Don't make them straight. They should have a little bit of a curve to them. I'm going to put a little bit on the forward part of this pectoral fin here. A little bit on this one. 
a little more here on his nose. Again, make sure that that is the white is pure white, opaque, white. A little bit there on the nose. Leading edge of the dorsal fin. And I'm gonna come back in and just make this fin a little bit darker right through here, a little more blue. And the other thing you can do is take your big brush, get some of that white, and you can make some streaks. Coming down, oh, got a little more paint there, showing that how that light is coming down from the surface, right through that water. And our dolphins are just enjoying the beauty, the freedom that dolphins have in our ocean. Have fun with it. Dolphins in the ocean. <laughs>